Today's objective is today we'll measure lengths of several objects to the nearest whole unit using feet and yards. Now it's your turn to repeat today's objective back to me. Are you ready? Today we'll measure lengths of several objects to the nearest whole unit using feet and yards. Nice job. Now it's time to go over today's important vocabulary words. So our first vocabulary word is foot. Everybody say foot. Nice job. Now foot, remember, can be abbreviated to FT period. And an abbreviation is just an efficient way of writing a longer word. A foot is equal to 12 inches or the length of one whole ruler. It's also about the length from your elbow to your wrist. We measure feet using a ruler or a yardstick. Our next vocabulary word is yard. Everybody say yard. Nice job. Now, yard can be abbreviated to Y, D, period. And a yard is three feet long, which is equal to 36 inches or three rulers. It's also about the length of an entire arm span. So if you hold out your arms to the side, nice and straight, that's about the length of one yard. We measure yards using a measuring tape or a yardstick. Last week, we talked about what it means to round numbers. Tap your head if you remember learning about rounding. Nice. Now, when we round numbers, we're basically choosing the nearest whole unit. And a whole unit is just a number that isn't a fraction. So numbers like 0, 1, 2, 500 are all examples of whole units. Whole units are not fractions. So numbers like 1 fourth, 1 half, 3 fourths. Remember, those are fractions. Now it's time for me to model two problems. Number one says, measure the length of your TV. Then it says record your measurements in both feet and yards. Underneath, there's a spot for my measurement in feet, and then there's a spot for my measurement in yards. In order to measure our TV, I need my two tools. First, I need my ruler. Second, I need my yardstick. First, I'm going to use my ruler to measure the length of our TV. So I'm measuring in feet, which means that I'm going to use the entire length of my ruler to do my first measurement. Here we go. Starting on one end, I line up the ruler with the very edge. And because my ruler isn't long enough to match the entire length of the television, I need to use a placeholder. So I take my finger and I put it right where the ruler stops. That way I know where to lift my ruler and place it next. As I'm doing that, I'm counting how many feet all together. So one, two, three, four, to round down because it doesn't quite reach the halfway point on my ruler and I know the rule for rounding that if it doesn't meet the halfway point I round down to the nearest whole number so it's five feet long now before I measure the length of the TV in yards I need to record my measurement for the length of the TV in feet so on that first line I write the number five Next, I'm going to measure the length of the TV with my yardstick. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did with my ruler, except this time, let's see how the measurement is different because the yardstick is a lot longer. All right, so I start by lining up the edge of the ruler with the very edge of the TV. Now again, the length of the yardstick doesn't quite match the length of the TV, so I need to use my placeholder, which just means I'm going to place my finger at the very end of the yardstick 
so that I know where to lift and place the yardstick as I move it down. If you need help with this, just ask someone in your family to give you a hand. Lend you a finger. <laughs> okay, so there's one yard. And then, whoop, our books are right in the way. So I'm going to do it a little bit above. Okay, so it doesn't quite meet two yards, but I can see that this is more than halfway. I'll show you. More than halfway. Okay, so this side is a little bit longer than this side, which means it's more than halfway through the yardstick. So I'm actually going to round up to two yards. Next, I need to record my measurement for yards. So I wrote two on the line for yards. Number two says, measure the length of the planter box. Record your measurement in both feet and yards. So I've got my yardstick and I've got my ruler and I'm going to measure the length of this planter box. I'm gonna start with my ruler because that's the first measurement listed on our workbooks. So just like I did with the TV, I'm going to start at the very edge of the planter box and then I'm going to use my placeholder, which is my finger, to help me out. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm going to go with seven because it got more than halfway past the midway point. So I'm going to go with seven for my first measurement. Before I do my measurement of the planter box in yards, I pause to record my measurement for feet, which remember was seven. Next, I'm going to use my yardstick to measure the length of our planter box. Here I go. So just like I did with my ruler, I need to make sure that I start at the very edge of the planter box. And then I'm going to use my placeholder so that I know where to lift and then replace the next yardstick. So one, two, and it doesn't quite get to the halfway point, so I'm going to round down to two. For my last measurement, which is yards, I write two. Now today, boys and girls, your assignment's going to be a little bit different because everyone is either going to need to print off the worksheet that I've created or you'll need to follow the seesaw link to complete your assignment. The reason is because today in your math journals, you have all sorts of funny things listed in here to measure. For example, one of the questions says to measure two students, which you could do if you have a sibling, but if you're an only child or if your sibling is busy, you might not have anybody to measure with. The other one says measure some yarn. Well, not everybody has yarn at home, so that's kind of tricky. So I've replaced the objects that you are going to measure, and so I've created new worksheets for you to complete. So be sure to check out the assignment on Google Classroom today. Good luck.